Hi everyone, I'm Jody, and welcome to my channel. I'm glad that you're here today. So March is behind us and we are heading into April. I don't know where this year is going. It's flying by so fast. But I wanted to get this video out just in case you are a beauty insider and we're looking to shop the Fasora, the Fasora, the Sephora sale. And <laughs> boy, the older we get, the brain just takes its, just works on its own time. Anyway, there are some good products here. Now, if you are new to my channel, I will tell you that in order to make my top five list for the month, it has to be a product that I have purchased in bulk, purchased myself and purchased in bulk so that I don't ever want to be without it. Second criteria is it has to be a good value for the price. And then third, it has to be a product that I would personally refer to my family and friends because I would treat them no different than I would treat you. So I wanna make sure that it's a product that I would feel really good about recommending. So if you are a beauty insider and you wanted to take advantage of the Sephora sale that starts April 1st, 5th, or 7th, depending on your level within their beauty insider program, then you might wanna pick some of these up. That's why I'm getting this out earlier than I typically do. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And I, let me start by saying these earrings are everything. They're super cute. You know me, if there's a heart, I, I'm buying it no matter what it is. So, and if you look back, there is a heart in every video I've ever done. So, and there probably will always will be. So it's either, well, I won't tell you. It's kind of like, where's Waldo? There is a heart in every video. Anyway, the first product I'm going to recommend is the Sleek and Shine Glass Hair Water. Now, if something says hair water, your first thought is, what, what do I need that for? And I wasn't sure I was gonna really like it either, but it leaves a, like it says, a mirror-like shine and it's 10 times smoother. So you can see I've used quite a bit of this one. Now you use it in between your shampoo and conditioner in the shower, and it really does leave your hair feeling much softer and silkier. And you see it kind of fade, that shininess fades as you wash it. You wouldn't definitely wouldn't use this every wash. I use it probably once every, I don't know, maybe fifth or sixth wash, and I wash my hair every two to three days, depending on what I've done in those in that time frame. Now, what I will say about this is it does give you marks on the side of it so that you know how much to use, and it's really a small, small amount. Now, in my brilliant mind, I thought, well, I have long hair, so I should probably use more than recommended bad idea because my hair, I needed to wash it the next day. It felt so dirty and gritty and the only thing I changed was using too much of this. So if you decide to get this, I highly recommend that you use the recommended amount and don't try to outsmart the product because they developed it so they know how much you should use. But I really have enjoyed this and my hair just feels very shiny, shiny because of it. All right, number two. Guys, I talked about this in my um, video on sunscreen, or sunscreen, sunscreen. <laughs> it's just, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna start this video over to take out that edit, it just takes too much time. But I talked about this product in my skincare video. Ding, 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 she did it. And I've really, you can see I've used half of the bottle. I've really, really loved these. These are the Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair 20% Vitamin C Serum. And as I talked about in that video, part of the importance of buying vitamin C is the product that it comes in because it is such a volatile, um, ingredients vitamin C is. So the way it's packaged is important to protect the integrity of the ingredient itself. So that's why these caplets were first attractive to me. And then once I started using them, I can definitely tell my skin looks better, it looks brighter, it looks less dull. And if I use these, I don't use these every day, I use them every other day. Because when I was using them every day, I could tell that when I were just to go to put on my sunscreen in the morning or my moisturizer, my skin felt a little bit sensitive and my skin has never been sensitive to anything. I mean, I've done all kinds of crazy stuff to it and it's never been a problem. So these are strong. So I do say that if you want a vitamin C serum, I would recommend these. I will tell you that you just don't you just don't want to use them every day. And if you have sensitive skin, oh, there it is. If you have sensitive skin, I definitely would use it. Maybe start off with once a week and then go from there. So it's just a little caplet and it's there's quite a bit in that. So I would I take the extra from that amount 
and I put it on my neck and I put it on my hands just because that's a lot for the face I think so and it, they're not cheap so I don't want to waste them but they're not it's not super expensive I think that bottle was maybe $19 don't quote me I'll link it all down below for you but I would really highly recommend I am getting low enough that I definitely want to go grab another one of those okay Next, we're going to go to, I did, I did, I did. And the reason I'm going to highlight this is because if you want a nice palette, this is the Retro Palette by Natasha Denona. If you haven't picked up this palette and you like pinks and neutral tones and you want to get pushed out of your comfort zone a little bit, I would recommend this one because it does have those nice pretty pinks, but it has enough of a burgundy and some darker colors that it's really going to push you one step past your comfort neutral nude look, which is what I've loved about it. I have it on today. It's the palette that I used to do this look and I've just really enjoyed it. So if you are tempted to buy a palette, a good, good palette that as a more mature woman, you will, you know, there are so many looks that you could do with this palette that I think it's a good investment if you like eyeshadow, but you don't like wearing the same thing over and over, but you want a good quality blend with super good pigmentation, then I would say this might be a good time to pick it up during that sale. Uh, next is a concealer that I, I'm liking for spring and summer. So with a lighter look, um, this Benefit Boing concealer, Creaseless Concealer came out. It's a reformula of one that they've had before. I have it in number four. And what I've liked about it is it's less thick than some of my other concealers. And so, but it wears well. You can see it covers up the, the, the freckle mole. Thank goodness that thing is there. It's served its purpose for sure. So it's a, it's a little bit less thick. It's a little bit more of a serum consistency, but I can't call it a serum. I wouldn't say that. It's lighter than the Kasha one that I highlighted recently. Um, so if you're looking for a lighter concealer, but one that will cover imperfections, I would wear this because of the good cover consistency, but the thinness of it almost, it, it's, it's a good full coverage, but it's a consistency of a tinted moisturizer. I would wear this if you don't love foundation and you just want to cover up a few imperfections around your face, but that blends it really well into your skin, your normal skin without anything on it, then I think that would be a really nice concealer for you to pick up. Again, that's called the Boing by Benefit. And the application on it, let's see what it is. It's a doe foot applicator. It's, I mean, it's cute. It's small. It's about the size of a lipstick. So, you know, it could throw it into a, a purse or something. It'd be easy to travel with. But again, it's the new formula. So make sure that you grab the new one. All right. Next, I talked about this on my video recently of, with a spring full face look. And I really enjoyed this. This is the One Step Corrector by Stila. And this is the medium. And it has sort of some yellow tones in it some green and a little bit of like that orangey to just get rid of your bluish purplish uh, tones that are under your skin if you have that under your eyes for example like I do but what I love about it let's go to a different hand is that it has it's like a color corrector and a serum in one which is what I love about it for that under eye area not only does it correct the tones and for spring and summer, this would be nice because you get rid of those purple blue tones under your eyes and then just a little bit of concealer where you want. So you've got your color corrector slash serum in one product and then a little bit of concealer in another and you've got a good cover up look without a heavy makeup look. But I've loved it because it definitely gets rid of, let me rephrase that, it, it, um, it doesn't get rid of, it takes the purpleness under my eyes down dramatically so I can then cover the rest of the purpley up with the con uh, concealer so it doesn't it doesn't cover up completely it's not that thick but if you want to really get rid of the purple completely or the blue then you could use something like this makeup forever this is the dullness erase and this is much more pigmented this is pure yellow but it's very very blendable which is what I love about it and that will cover up for sure more of the purpley. But I'm not trying to get a thick look under my eyes, which is why I like this one for more every day, because it has that serum in it, 
and just plumps that under eye area and then while I'm letting that sort of do its thing, I'll go do more makeup and then come back and put some concealer, you know, in that space. So depending on what you want, if you want more of a serum with your color corrector, I'd go here. If you want just true color corrector and you're fine with more of a full coverage, then this might be a better option. And so it, it just doesn't work if we just put a concealer over that purpley or blue color because we wanna minimize the product under our eye. We have to do a color corrector, but a nice light one that comes in a serum is a good choice. All right, now we're gonna step up a little bit. How many products is that? That's way too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, so there have been six products because the color correctors kind of counted as two. Okay, so those are the fun five products, kind of six with the bonus of the two different color correctors. But you know, there's, there's options, you gotta have options. So the product that was a fail, uh, and I am a MAC lipstick fan. I have always enjoyed MAC, lips, MAC lipsticks. And I had showed you guys the variety of colors that were in the Luna New Year collection from MAC. Some really, really pretty colors. And I wanted to try them because they were gorgeous. And this is the Enveloped in Love. And it, it is really, really pretty stunning packaging. It has the tiger on it. It has the really pretty different colors to signify the Lunar New Year. It is a matte lipstick, so I knew that going into it, but it is so drying. It, it wears patchy and it dries like a liquid lipstick. So I, let me take off this. By the way, these Victoria Emerson bracelets, I get comments on these or questions on these. I will link these, you guys, in the case, in the description box below. I'm just gonna take it off. That's how easy it is to come off. It really, it just clasps right here, which is why I love these. But um, it comes in a variety of colors. I'll put it down below. It, it, it's such a pretty, pretty color, but it is so, so drying. So I just wish that we could come up and look, we know that matte lipsticks are drying. I didn't buy this with some grand illusion that it was gonna be, you know, illuminating and moisturizing, but I didn't expect it to be as drying as a, um, liquid lipstick. Now it does say that it is from their powder lip collection, which I don't know why there would be such a thing, but there is. So, um, again, I'm a fan of Mac lipsticks, but this lunar collection, at least that formula is no go for my more mature skin. So save your money on that one. There are some other really good lipsticks that Natasha Denona has some re a really nice kit that I've highlighted in my Sephora sale that's called I Need a Rose. And there are three different colors in that one. And, um, and with the kit is a lip liner, lip gloss, and lipstick. You need to purchase all three separately, but I would definitely think about those if you're looking for just some new lip colors. So again, that's highlighted in my Sephora sale, which I'll link at the end of this video. So that does it for March. Hopefully there are some good ideas in there for you guys to get you uh, excited about spring makeup. If not, there's plenty of tutorials that I've already done. If you wanna take a look at some new looks maybe for your spring makeup look, but it's all about light and bright, some shimmer, some glitter, some overdone lips to a point and uh, have fun with it. So I hope that helps. Have so much fun with your spring makeup. Have a good rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.